Well, I did get a little work done on the um, grinding, so I did manage to teach my um, healer a uh, spell finally. Offensively, at least. So you do get experience for casting support spells in this game, just not very much. What the, hell makes you think I'm a tribesman? the red hair. I don't believe in personal space. Work at a fast food joint. There's not that much of a space bubble. No, he's the dark loser. We've been over this. Yeah, that's his biggest problem. There's no stunt doubles left. The Dark Loser. He wishes he was a stupid celebrity. That needed a stunt double to do all his moves. Yeah, I ain't got time for screaming teenage girls. Yeah, she's got a point. Why would they know who you are? Aren't you his secret daughter? <laughs> Do you not see this emblem of the four leaf clover? Overlord Zenon's daughter? Not so exuberant anymore? If you wish to beg for mercy, now would be a good time. Yes, beg for mercy from the character that doesn't know how to fight. Yeah, a chance for a comeback. What do you mean, Axel, darling? Picture this. A beautiful demon. None other than Overlord Zinon's only daughter, Rosalind, in prison in a deserted palace. Well, it wasn't deserted before, you know, until Zen killed everyone, basically. And the only man who could rescue her from the villains and Esther Zinon for a hefty reward is the dark hero, Axel. <laughs> oh, let's see it. Thought they had to save that for one of the Matrix movies where they tried way too hard. Enthusiastic for pain? Oh, please. That doesn't mean anything coming from you, Tink. You're an absolute joke yourself. A whole town? You think too highly of him. I thought he was just the village idiot. Well, now. Well, let's see. Defense plus 50, huh? That might be just off. Nope, right spot. Okay. Let's see. I want to pick off the mages. Oh, he's got a rare wooden staff. Whatever. I mean, it's got a common orb also, so I doubt it's anything too valuable. 
Uh, you won't reach fast enough. Um, this will do for now. We'll let them approach before we finish them off. Honestly, I imagine these two characters alone could probably handle most of this map. Ooh, Blade Rush. You just killed your own ally. What kind of, you know, enemy are you? I mean, I guess it's hilarious when they um, pick themselves off for me, but still. Why would you do that? Well, I gotta hold the spot. Well... Shoot, I gotta be in a straight line for this to work. The one downside of this ability. Well, I should probably take these out too, so... I want to pop that one first. I might let Axel, um... Get closer to the inner sanctum, though. Weak to ice, huh? Okay. Let's send our ice power out. Sadly, that probably won't make it in line with them any easier, but... At least out of um, the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. Gotta ride that highway all day long. Well, Axel's now alone. Poor Mr. Jerktown. Well, item. Ooh, an Imperial Seal. Me kinda likey. I think I'll steal his hit points first. Bump, bump. Let's see what you do. Nothing! Was that supposed to be a move? Seriously. You gotta try harder, man. I only recognize moves of a certain degree of, um, skill. Eh, you're not even worth finishing off. Boom, well, let's go for the bonus. Yeah, I suspect this will be enough to finish poor Axel off. Potentially, or at least cripple him. Regardless, I really just want the items. Shiny, shiny items. Look at that shine! I guess he will survive. Just by the skin of his teeth, darn it. I guess I can go for a long throw with Astrid, maybe. Because this should be, like, double damage. They should get hit for, like, another 27 or so when this clears out. Just based on the chain length. Yep, called it. Okay. Ah, darn, I need just a little bit more to get that. But we got some legendary smelling salts. Yeah, I know, no one wanted those. Um, let's see. Lift and throw. That honestly might be enough to finish him off, I'm not sure. Okay, we'll have you pick up Astrid, and you pick up Astrid. Well, obviously by proxy. And you as well. Well, gotta make a move. All the way in. Now, Boulder Crush. Well, if that ain't enough, this definitely will be time for the Boulder Crusher! Well, that went fairly well. No. No, I forgot to take the cap off, baby. Yes! They're absolutely wonderful! Oh, that's great. I 
can't wait to see tonight's broadcast. Ah. Not like you'll be on it. You're dead, remember? I doubt he was the one that vandalized it. He's not smart enough to know how to vandalize a place. I mean, come on. Leave that for the vandals. You forgot the whole reason we're here, haven't you? You were supposed to guide me to Overlord Xenon? <laughs> oh, yeah. That. Why should he be happy? It has nothing to do with him. <clears throat> Princess, they are not the ones who attack the palace. Yeah, if they were, the guards probably could have stopped him. Because he's the dark loser, you know? <laughs> Did I not tell you? No, no you didn't. Lay it on me, frog. Wow, such a great description! Truly, the stuff of legends right there! That's so very helpful! In a universe with dozens of overlords! <sighs> you had it coming, man. The universe hates you, Tink. You haven't fought anyone, so shush up, Adele. Not really. Hey, don't compare me to monsters. I'm fighting for my family. And at least he, you know, has intelligence behind his fighting. Unlike a monster. Perhaps for now. But was that the glitter of interest I spied in your eyes? You must not fight with them. You cannot win. That is for sure. We don't know that until we try. And if you fail, you'll be dead. Now what? Speechify? Oh, oh, yeah, we're gonna find you definitely mistook this. Nice photo. Seriously, what battlefield was that on? We have received top secret information from our trusted sources today that confirms the existence of the legendary Overlord Xenon. Overlord Xenon currently lives in a quaint countryside world called Veldheim, where he quietly changes humans into monsters. And now, let's look back at the career of Overlord Xenon. <laughs> Ah, the spare. One billion hit points? Come on. There's no way it's that high. Overlord Zenon has slaughtered over a thousand overlords and is respectfully referred to as the god of all overlords. It's a great title, ain't it? No one has ever seen him and lived to tell about it, thus earning him the distinction of being a legendary overlord. Eighteen years ago. The bodies of 99 overlords were found dead. Xenon is believed to be responsible, but the truth is still unknown. But this new information may shed new light on the true face of Overlord Xenon. Stay tuned for more developments. <laughs> and yeah, she never talks. Demons care about the environment? Oh, he is from one of the other games, actually. 
uh, Makai Wars, I believe. How could this happen? My existence has been exposed. Soon, overlords from around the universe may join forces and come charging in. There is not a moment to lose. I must get this under control quickly. Good luck with that. The cat's out of the bag. There's no putting it back in the bag. Well, I know Tara will be all for it. But why? Why can't I call you Rosalind? Or Rosie? Why would you want to shorten it to Rosie? As some kind of demon, you should show me your proper respect and admiration for being the daughter of your overlord. But you haven't done anything for us to respect you for. Hanako's got a point. Respect has to be earned. Yeah, because we all know you're a closet submissive, Taro. Hey, stop trying to brainwash my little brother and sister with your propaganda. Foolish human, I am not brainwashing them. I am providing them with a rudimentary education for when they become my servants. Yeah. Taro might be for that. Hanako would probably want to go independent. Why? Is it that rare? Would you mind giving a handsome fog and lesson? So have to back there where no one can see us all. Oh, it definitely wouldn't be a summoning lesson if you're in that form. Oh my. You shouldn't go around teasing old ladies. Do not say such things when I gaze into those sweet, beautiful, innocent eyes of yours. You set my heart Shouldn't you do this, you know, when you're not in front of her husband? Oh, you've got guts. Seducing a wife in front of her husband. Might want to take notes or hit him. Or both. Hitting on my adopted mom. Of course we will. We got access to a gun. Watching your son go off to fight every day is just as painful as fighting. Not really. I'm glad he's made some friends, though. Me too. No matter how strong he gets, he shouldn't fight alone. The battlefield is no place to be lonely. Unless you're Zenon. Hanako has some talents, I suppose. That's right. But the only thing we can do is believe in him and remain safely at home. Why not send Hanako? She wants to fight. I can see it in her eyes. Is that really all we can do? Hmm. Waiting here is boring. Exactly. Oh yeah. We got Etna in this chapter. I suppose I could try and beat her, but... I think I high hopes for that. She is level 2000. I mean, if you can beat her and you're on your first playthrough, you spent a lot of time on grinding. I see it, but I can't get it from there. Darn it. Well, I was next to it, but I couldn't trigger it. Like, give me the money, damn it. So, which way are we going today? Nowhere and everywhere. Hmm, let's see. Are you really trying to figure it out? No. I have to do something about Xenon's curse before it gets worse. Try to make rhyming lines now. Miss Yoradel, 
Do you not think you are being a bit uh, too harsh? Especially since she will be summoned against her will? Spare me, you perverted frog. Don't prevent. Uh, don't forget the whole perverted French bit. If you are determined to meet Overlord Zenon, I will take you to him. <laughs> You've never even been him yourself. But only if you have the courage to face him. Just let me know when the terror sinks in and you change your mind, okay? <laughs> I won't change my mind. I will defeat Zenon. At your power level. Is it really cunning? Then leave it to me. I shall surpass your expectations. No, you won't. Well, I'll do for this episode, because I don't want to stop and try and further develop some other characters. Uh, keywords on try. It's hard to get enough money to really fund my own self at this point. It's always one thing or another. Till next time, then. See ya.